Every day that I drive home from this job, I have a practice. I listen, I try and figure out what's going on. And so I'll listen to the different news sources right. and I'll switch around. I'll listen to obviously the left. I'll try to listen to the center. And then I try and listen to Fox News as well. And I listen to all of them. And I do, I try and think, that's you know, smart. I, mean, I, 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 I want to understand, I don't want to just be in my bubble. Everyone says we're in a bubble. Right. I don't want to be in a bubble. And yet, when it comes to Donald Trump, no one can agree. And uh, the first question I have for you is, in your opinion, as a legal analyst and someone who really knows the law and knows the Constitution, do you think it's possible that Trump committed an impeachable offense? Do you think he is going to be impeached? Or is this a guy who serves out his, his four-year term? OK, I, I do think uh, he serves out his four-year term. I don't think there's uh, much doubt about that. Did he commit an impeachable offense? I think it's possible. You know, one of the things that's different from the 70s and, and Watergate and is, Nixon, that, yeah. is that our attention spans are so much shorter. Uh, you know, it was, the Watergate was a two-year uh, investigation. And we, this is, I mean, you know, Trump's only been president for 150 days. Um, and, um, you know, I do think there's serious grounds to investigate, and particularly for obstruction of justice, for shutting, trying to shut down the FBI investigation of his national security advisor, Michael Flynn, and then firing James Comey when he didn't do that. But, you know, with a Republican Congress, I think regardless of what the result of that investigation is, I think there's almost no chance he'll be impeached. Right. So I, I sometimes feel like, when you said 150 days, it, it's, <laughs> it is unbelievable to me yeah. that we've been living in this world for only 150 yeah, days. It, is, it, yeah. it feels like it's been about three it's years three, now. Absolutely. And I keep thinking, well, there's probably there's another year, and then we'll have an election. <laughs> no, it's 150 <laughs> days. That's right. It's, it's a, a mind-blowing it, experience. It, it, it is unbelievable. The, the pace of news has been like nothing, nothing I've ever seen in my whole career. I also think, in my opinion, the highs are too high too quickly, the lows are too low too quickly, so that people almost get, I mean, he was in office for several days and people were using the impeachment word, and it almost felt like people on the left sometimes are punching themselves out. Obviously, they need to investigate, but people get, they, they lose their minds over one news cycle, and then it switches to the next news cycle and they lose their minds, and you get to a point where maybe people get inured, they get dulled to the idea well, and, that and there could I be an impeachment. And I think Democrats have a real risk in that, that they are betting so much that there is some you know, cataclysmic scandal coming that if and when 2018 comes along, 2020 comes along, and there has not been a uh, you know, convincing proof of some serious wrongdoing, they need some argument other than you know, Donald Trump is corrupt. They need to go to the public and say, the health care, the economy, issues that affect people in their day-to-day -day lives, that's an argument they need to make.